welcome to the um, to this tutorial so um, let's get started so first of all we need to create a new directory that will house our new project so I'm going to create a new directory called API projects like this then I'm going to cd into it okay and now I need to create the package.json file I will be using yarn in case you're not familiar with it here is a basically a side-by-side -side comparison between yarn at and, and npm so as you can see it, it's it's really um it's really similar in how you do uh, things the only really the only real difference is that yarn is a node.js package manager which is much faster than npm has offline support and fetches dependencies more predictably so that's the reason why I'm going to be using that one instead so to get started I will um, type the command yarn in it and then I'll also append um, dash y because I automatically want to answer like yes to all the questions that we get asked okay so now um, sorry now this directory contains the package.json file and if we take a look in the inside you can see what what got generated for us so next I'm going to open this directory in uh, Visual Studio Code that is the editor that I'm going to be using for this series okay and now here we have this file um, I'm going to rename the index.js to app.js because I'm more used to calling that file like app.js instead then we should create a app.js file here okay and now we need to actually install the express um, back into this commander instance I'm going to go yarn add <coughs> express okay and now I can actually require it inside of here so I'm going to go const express equals require um, express like that okay now this file will contain um, several lines some of which will be for the middleware so I'm going to designate it like this then we will need to handle our, our routes here um, we also need to catch 404 errors um, and um, forward them to error handler function and here will be the error handler function <coughs> um, at the end we need to we need to actually start um, the server okay so um, before I do anything else I need to instant instantiate a new app by using this express variable that we just required moments ago um, then I can go down here and actually start listening um, before I do that I need to to um, specify on which port I want this server to listen on and I'll store that inside a variable called port and what I want to do is first to check whether the environment variable port exists and if so I want to use that value but if that isn't the case I want to use 3000 now I can actually start listening on that port and as a callback I'll simply console.log that server is listening on port <coughs> um, port like this okay um, then I probably need some sort of a logging library so I'm going to install Morgan for that so I'll go yarn add Morgan and here I'm going to require it but I'm going to call this variable 
variable logger. Again, um, no differences, it's just like my personal preferences. So I'm going to wire Morgan up above and then I need to use it as a middleware. So I'm going to go app use a logger and now um, I mean like if you want to more if you want to know more details about Morgan you should check out um, their github page they have a readme um, but right now I know that I can pass a string to this logger right here and I'm going to pass a dev okay so now would be a good time to actually um, to actually build catch 404 errors and forward them to error handler function so I mean that's going to be again app.use we will have a function inside of here whose parameters are going to be request, response and next and um, what we want to do here is to declare a new um, error variable variable which will be of a type new error and we want to call it basically not found so um, this error variable <coughs> over here will contain a new error of a type not found next we also want to assign a status to this variable and the status would be 404 um, last we want to simply call next and pass that variable that we just declared then inside of our like catch all error handler function we again start similar um, we uh, need a function inside app.use this time we will also have error as a first parameter followed by request response and next okay um, now what we want to do is basically we want to do two things first we want to respond to client and second we want to respond to ourselves basically so to terminal to respond uh, respond to ourselves we can for now simply use console.error and we can pass the error um, variable that we receive up above but when it comes to the client maybe we don't want to leak like all of our internal details so instead what we could do is we could create a new error variable up above and then we can check whether the environment variable variable called in env is set to development or production and it if it is set to development we want to to basically pass the entire error object but if we are in production environment we don't want to do that so we can simply um, ask whether the env variable variable is set to development and if so we want to pass the error object otherwise we will pass uh, an empty object um, similarly um, not similarly but we also need to handle the status and we will handle it like this so we will check whether the error already contains a status and if so we will take it this is an example where the error will contain a status otherwise we will reply back with a status of 500 meaning server error so now to respond to client we can go respond status and pass the status that we just declared um, dot JSON and now we want to send to the client basically the following object so the object should contain um, a field called error that is actually a sub object with a field called message and in this field we want to show the message that is contained inside of this variable variable over here so we will go error dot message like this and then we can close it like this okay um, for the routes for now let's let's make a dummy one so let's go app dot get um, root 
and then go again we need to declare a handler function so it will contain the parameters request response and next inside of here we want to respond back to our client with a status of 200 meaning everything is okay and the JSON object that contains a message I'm um, something like you requested index page like this okay okay so now uh, would be a great time to actually test and see whether what we did actually works or not and for that I went ahead and opened a postman software um, you can download it it's free to use um, with the help of the postman application we're going to um, send requests to our server and get the responses back here so um, let's actually start um, the project so I'm going to go node and then app.js okay it says that server is listening on port 3000 and now if we inside of a postman go to http slash localhost um, slash uh, okay colon 3000 and then the root slash I should see the message you requested in this page and as you can see the Morgan is running you can see this output over here okay so everything is good so far and um, before I finish this video let's simply create a folder structure inside of here that we will use in the in the videos to come so um, we will need several folders here so let's create one um, that's going to be called routes okay like that um, another one that's going to be called controllers okay next one called helpers and the last one called models okay but yeah we need that to be inside of a root okay so like this so um, this should be it for now and I'll see you in the next video.